Hi guys. Um, so as promised, I'm gonna share my birth story. Um, I've got Georgia with me. She's in what my sister calls full nugget. That's the position that she's sleeping in right now. Um, and so since she's sleeping, I thought now is a perfect time. Um, she is three days old. Um, so we got home from the hospital on Wednesday. Um, so I'm gonna try to, um, you know, keep this real and concise. If birth stories aren't your thing, don't worry, you don't have to listen. Um, I won't be hurt, but if you wanna hear how this whole beautiful little nugget um, was born, that's what I'm gonna tell you about. So, um, you know, most of you who are following me know that I started feeling like early labor symptoms, like, you know, not early labor, I guess, early stage of labor, right around like 38 or 39 weeks. Um, all of a sudden I was like, wow, things are changing. Baby was dropped, um, you know, way low in my belly. Um, I started feeling really crampy. Um, I didn't feel as good anymore. Hi, <laughs> this is what she's doing. She's like making funny faces and smiling. Um, and that started around 38 weeks. Um, I went to my last midwife appointment. I had had um, the opportunity to do this thing called centering for my pregnancy, which was basically group um, pregnancy appointments. They were amazing. So you basically met with the same group of women through your entire pregnancy um, and a midwife um, led each of the classes. So you kind of had like a private check for about 10 minutes. But then after that, um, each um, appointment was like a topic of a different thing related to babies or bodies or all of it. So it's kind of amazing. Um, also, side note, um, this Georgia is my third child, but my boys are eight and 10. So it's been a minute. It's been quite a while. Um, and so um, at 38 weeks, I went to my checkup with centering and I told my midwife, things are changing, I'm having a lot of contractions. And she said, yeah, early labor might be starting. So kind of at 38 weeks, we were on baby watch. Um, my doula, Rachel, was asking me lots of questions, checking on me, we were like watching. Both my boys um, came at 39 weeks. Um, and both were kind of induced uh, with Logan. Um, my water broke, I think it was broke during an exam. Um, and so it ended up being a really super long labor, lots of um, epidural, lots of Pitocin. It went like 40 hours. It was very stressful. With Henry, it was a scheduled induction because my blood pressure went up. Um, so it's been quite a long time. So I was waiting for spontaneous labor, which I had never experienced before. Um, so we were on baby watch and, and uh, for two weeks straight, two and a half weeks, I had all of those early labor signs. So contraction, sometimes they were regular, lots of pressure. She's like, <laughs> she's like snoring or making little breathing sounds. Um, and my hope for this labor going into it was to have natural childbirth, which I hadn't experienced with Logan and Henry. Um, and it was something I wanted for this, uh, this delivery if possible. Um, I wanted to have her in a hospital setting, but with as few interventions as possible. Um, so I wanted the medical help if I needed it, but otherwise I just wanted to try to let my body um, do what it was made to do. I feel like, you know, over the past few years, I worked really hard to be strong and healthy and eat well. And, um, and I did that in pre this pregnancy too. With Logan and Henry, I really didn't. And so I felt a lot more connected um, to you know, what my body was capable of. So I wanted to try, um, natural childbirth. Um, and so with my doula support, Rachel, she gave me lots of information and with the midwives who were amazing and with my specific midwife who really encouraged me that I could do it, that was my plan. So we waited, 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 um, for labor to start and it just didn't start. Um, uh, continuing to wait. We also didn't expect for Josh to be there. So Josh's ship is now in um, Virginia a lot of the time and we didn't know when labor would start. So we were assuming that he might not actually get to be there for her birth and would get there as soon as possible. So we had like support team planned, all of that. And um, so yeah, I just kept thinking I was in labor. And all the signs kept saying I was in labor, but I wasn't. So finally at 
40 weeks I went in, I was two centimeters dilated. The midwife um, who I visited that day did what's called a membrane strip. She said like, this will, you know, get you if you're close. Um, they basically like insert their fingers up inside your cervix, kind of swirl it around, kind of get the membranes all, you know, freed up and release that hormone that tells your body, okay, let's do it. It's baby time. Um, it didn't start my labor. And so, um, we made plans for Josh to come home, figured labor is taking its sweet time and put induction on the schedule for 41 weeks if it hadn't happened already. So fast forward to two days before um, 41 weeks, I had tried everything, everything on the how to get labor started list, like at least three times. Um, you know, every single thing I'd probably walked thousands of miles in the past, um, month. I tried resting. I tried mile circuit. I tried spicy foods. I tried everything and nothing was working. So finally I decided to try this thing called midwife's brew. It is a, um, smoothie of castor oil, apricot, concentrate, um, uh, I'm trying to think what else is gross. Almond butter and lemon verbena tea. And I made this giant smoothie and I drank it and I actually felt better after drinking it than before, which is, I don't think supposed to happen. You're supposed to get like cramps and maybe diarrhea and throw up and like all that's supposed to like kick labor into gear. And I did none of those things. Um, I felt better. I went and worked in my garden. Um, but after, uh, about three hours, I started to feel different. Um, I had leaned back against Josh and he rubbed my back a little bit cause he was already there. Cause now we had induction scheduled. So he's here. And, um, and I started getting contractions and they were pretty regular, um, but more close together than they had been. So like eight minutes apart, very consistent and pretty solid. So I called Rachel, my doula, and she came over, and Rachel's a good friend too, and yep, contractions were definitely going, I was uncomfortable, um, and so we started kind of doing all the, you know, early labor things, um, you know, we did a little bit of walking, I did some ball sitting, this was all at my house, because our plan was, or my plan, was that I wanted to labor at my house as long as possible, um, and then go into the hospital when it was getting closer to time to have the baby. So I was there. The plan would be to be there as short as possible. So we were up most of that night because I was uncomfortable and my I was having contractions all night long. And uh, we thought it was go time and that I was just in the early stages of labor. And um, I was having lots of cramping. And so I did showers and I did all the things. And we went all the way through to the next day, mid day. I was having contractions five minutes apart, um, for almost a minute long. They were big ones. Like you could see my, um, uterus kind of balloon out. It was like crazy looking. Um, and then they just stopped like straight stopped. Oh, there, baby view. Um, just plain stopped. And so, um, we tried everything to get them going again. We went for a walk, I chilled, I leaned back, I did all the things. We even went so far as to go and get ourselves some like really nasty fast food, like the kind that um, like a McDonald's cheeseburger. I haven't had McDonald's in like 10 years and uh, I had that and like some nasty burrito. Nope, no labor. Um, so the next morning was my 41 week checkup. I went and saw the midwife and she's like, yay, hooray, you're at four centimeters, good job you're still not in labor. And so um, she did another membrane strip and then said to come back that evening to start my induction. They did, um, so that's um, the part one, and then um, go to part two, and I'll tell you about the induction and then her actual birth.